Here we go, calculate the length of sides using trigonometry. So let's look at this first question. First we need to label the sides. So I've got my op here, my height, the longest side, and the edge. Then I start ticking Sokotoa. Uh, in this side I know the H's and the O's, so I'm going to tick those here. And I select the one where there's uh, two ticks together, so in this case it's so, which stands for sine angle is equal to op over height. Next I sub in my values, so in this uh, the sine, the angle is 53, so sine 53, op is x and the height is 28. Now what I need to do is uh, move this 28 and I'm going to move it by timesing both sides by 28. This way I'm going to get x on its own. So this leaves me with x is equal to 28 times sine 53. Now putting them in my calculator, 28 times sine 53, I get the answer to be, to the nearest centimetre, 22 centimetres. So let's move on to the uh, second example. So first let's label our size with the opposite, the hypotenuse, the adjacent. Then once we've labelled our size, then we start ticking. So we tick where we know information. So in this case, I know the opposite and the adjacent are x and 34 which means the two ticks together are, at the end, the TOA, so it's tan angle is equal to op over adjacent. Once I've written that, then I need to put my values in. The angle is 72, the opposite is x, and the adjacent 34. Now I need to move my 34, get it on the other side, so we've got x on its own. So that's x is equal to 34 times tan 72. I put that into my calculator, and to the nearest uh, centimetre, it is 105 centimetres. On to the last example. Again, first we need to label our size, op, height, and adjacent. Once we've done that, then we start ticking our Sokoto. In this case, we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so I tick the H's and the A's. And as we'll see, I'm going to pick the middle one, because I have two ticks together. So that's cos angle is equal to adj over hype. Once I've done that, I would then sub in my values. In this case, the angle is 47, the adj is x, and the hypotenuse is 16. I now need to move my 16 to get x on its own. So I'm going to times both sides by 16 to get 16 cos 47. Put that in my calculator and my answer should be 10.9 centimetres to one decimal place.